Hi guys! So this is an unplanned stream and it's obviously going to be a little bit different than usual since we're not going to be reading some document or whatever. But it is my birthday and I've spent so much time with you guys over, I don't know, it's only been a few months but it feels like a year. So I couldn't imagine, I obviously can't invite you guys to dinner or to come have some drinks and some cake, but if you want to drop a drink emoji or a cake emoji or a party emoji in the chat and we can hang out for a little bit here, um, it's not going to be anything too intensive. We're going to read some Reddit hot takes. We can talk about some interesting news. It's really anything goes, but kind of just want to hang out with you guys a little bit on my birthday before I get hungry and go have my birthday dinner. So if you guys want to pop in, I'm going to drop a link if anyone wants to come up and hang out. Just don't be weird. <laughs> That's all I ask for. But you'll see the StreamYard link in the chat there. You guys can join there. Let me make sure I go pin it so it doesn't get lost. And unfortunately, I know Pam. Hi, Pam. I know you're probably going to be at work right now. But if you can and want to come up, you are always welcome. So that is pinned there for you. And hello to Profess the Film Fan. So you have to tell us all the new good movies that I should add to my list to watch. I'm going to pull up. We're going to start with some Reddit hot takes. Thank you so much, guys. I don't know. Has she? Is there news on this? <laughs> if you tell me there's news on this, we will change the stream, the course of the stream right now, and talk about what's going on with, with this lawsuit if Grace has decided to drop that lawsuit. I can't imagine she would, but you never know. Thanks so much. My first hot take here. It's two hot takes. This guy says, and this is the post, right? This is how it shows up. It just says, my girlfriend doesn't like my hair anymore. And obviously we see the picture. He says advice needed. If you guys want me to leave a comment for all of us as advice, we can do that. Oh my God, it's Chillmonger. Woo! But I'm not on screen. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm struggle streaming. Woo! Oh my God. So you know what? I think someone actually has better hair on the stream right now than you, even though. You're here. You got to compete with him. This is perfect, perfect timing. Wow. <laughs> Too funny. So this guy, chill, if you didn't hear, he has a hot take. He's saying, my girlfriend doesn't like my hair anymore. Advice needed. Uh, I don't think you like your girlfriend anymore, sir. It's right? Easy. Yeah, that is, is your hair. It grows off of you. It's not like, is that oh, natural? He's like a hair metal. I can't read this. Is that a kiss shirt? What does it say? It's backwards. Yvonne Netanyahu. Oh, you don't get that <laughs> Simpsons you, reference? Did you read it forward? No, what? Is that something backwards? Yeah, yeah, in The Simpsons. It was like, join the Navy backwards. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so he's got like the whole hair metal vibe. Like that seems like, you know, it's like a personality thing. So if you ask someone to change your hair, you're asking someone to change your whole thing. Chill. <laughs> Look, you're... Context. Everyone loses hair, right? Eventually, like the widow's peak is peaking. Like the the hair on the back isn't as thick as it was, so it's gonna go. And I know that, and my time is coming. So, can I just enjoy it while I it's while it's there, please? Some people have their hair, you know. Like, do you say that because there's like baldness in your family? Because it can skip. It can skip people entirely. Yeah, I'm I'm saying that because it's happening. Oh, oh no! Well, stop! Don't tie it back in a in a tight way. You'll like pull it out. And I was told that by somebody older, and I didn't listen. It was always like a. Tie and you're back like yoink. <laughs> no, because when you're at work, you want to be like tied back as opposed. Hold on, to... wait. Let's go to the eyeliner picture. Wait, was it or, this one? Thank you so much, by the way, Nathan. But yeah, you can't be pulling your hair back really tight. I mean, when I used to have hair and I would waitress, I was like, oh, I'm going to just pull it back and do a high bun. Because my hair is really curly when it gets to a certain length. Like, as soon as it gets longer than this, it goes. Zoink. So waitressing, you get sweaty. You want to, like, slick it back a little bit. But then I'm like, I'm going to lose all those those hairs up in the front. Because it really does pull it out. I got fine hair. I'm obviously white, guys. <laughs> so... Chill, you didn't even need the context. You're like, sounds like you need a new girlfriend. Yeah. If this is what we're doing. Well, is it for like an event? Is it like a wedding? I get, hey, no, tame he your says hair for this. She outgrew it in one year. They wow. dated one and a half years and she already outgrew and wants him to have a more traditional style, which sounds like 
you probably got into this relationship thinking, oh, I'll just change him and mold them to how I want them to be. Right? Like, that's a short period of time. It is. Do we need to leave advice, guys? <laughs> Thanks, Juanita. I'm your... just going to put yes. Because <laughs> the question is, should I break up with her? No, it's it's on her to break up with you. You maintain your Oh, hair. that's actually true. I'm not going to make a duplicate. I'm going to leave leave the post in there for you guys <laughs> it, it really but that's a very good point isn't it up to her like okay you can't stand me that's a you problem i'm still enjoying this relationship for how how good it is and if it's that much of a deal breaker for you hey i understand like it is what it is well i, I don't know all the money that i invest okay there's more than money emotions i invested into this couple that we have this thing if if the hair is enough then i, I probably don't even want you is it like i don't know i don't think it's unprofessional i feel like okay you try to go and get a job many of the hiring managers are going to be fans of this genre of of music just the age group you know what i mean they're going to be like oh who do you like to listen to what's your favorite song by them that's that rapport building right there this could be the key to success because an interviewee would like you yeah yeah i hear you did you just mute you're back now. I was mute, but I was like trying to move the camera. So oh, you didn't want to like wiggle waggle on the screen? I closed the, the, the cam and then I closed the... Oh, back that's now. a good question, Juanita. Which are you going to miss more? <laughs> How long did it take you to grow your go. hair to... Like, can you can you like show us a shrinkage? So how long, how long, like, I don't know if you've, like, cut it, but how long would it take for you if you shaved your head <laughs> to get back to what now. it is when you pull... Just too long. Uh, I don't know. I think five years. Four years. Four years. So that's at least two of these relationships by their current duration. <laughs> he could have was... a whole girlfriend and a half before the hair would grow back. Huh. Well, thanks for joining us, QT1. Let's see more hot takes. Do you want to give out some more relationship advice? Oh, what, I, what else could I give? I don't know. I think... Um... Boyfriend wants me to get rid of my freckles? <laughs> nuts how i mean what is it like the oh my god and you can get like freckles tattooed on some girls put dots on it i saw a meme that was like hey like that's not fair i used to get bullied henna. for that stuff so how dare you put that on like it's fashionable oh i don't know if we're gonna talk about diddy today i mean it's kind of hard not to though there's a whole bunch of issues with like UMG. They're all their lawyers. All those like co-defendants are filing their. Why are we included in this complaint, Mr. Jones, Little Ron? Leave us out of this mess. Um, but I don't know if there's much news besides his he's lawyer came Ron. out and said he's... I'm innocent. Yeah, he's like still. He's Ezra Miller. And then Do you remember the Ezra Miller story. So the actor who plays Flash, a little bit, yeah, Ezra Miller. Um, was on the run, was being looked for. And then if you go on social media, you'll see posts. The girl like, was missing too, right? For a portion of it. And then she was back with her parents. Yep. And it was like, okay, why isn't the same people who are covering Diddy, why aren't they covering the Ezra case? And you were like, what the hell's going on here? This is so one sidedly unfair. It was so, uh, and I, I just had to bring it back. If you went on my Twitter, I talked about that uh, and I posted some of the instagram stories were today. like i'm on yeah i did it today it was like i'm on the run and all these ezra miller like subliminal messages and and we're like yo did he did he if did he did that did he or did he <laughs> uh, 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 uh. if did he did that though like it would be it would be part of the media storm he like everyone's been talking about did he i've been hearing about this guy for years so i'm not surprised i actually for believe years. he's guilty it's it's so far spread out that every time I see something new about it, it's like you, you kind of want to like figure out what this new thing that you missed is. But it, it's just like so much your brain has to push something else out like, oh, we're going to forget about this one time this other celebrity pointed out he did something weird because we need to make room for this new story. <laughs> like the brain is like reject There's too much. And then, yeah, so there's definitely some awareness of the Ezra, but you guys, a lot of you guys know, I only knew of the Ezra stuff because it was a lot of hypocrisy with um warner brothers and johnny depp 
And with Warner Brothers, they're like, oh, give him the boot because of Dan Wooten and some story. So I heard a lot of the Ezra Miller stuff brought up as a double standard in relation to how quickly Johnny Depp lost any like everything. Fantastic Beasts. Yep, 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 yep. Same so, franchise as Ezra. That's he's crazy. part of... I thought Johnny Depp was part of Fantastic Beasts, wasn't he? Yeah, but I didn't know Ezra was. I'm thinking The Flash. That's I'll like check. my scope of knowledge. <laughs> I'll, I'll <laughs> so, double check just to see. You're the expert. You probably know way more than me. Don't don't take my unawareness as an indicator that you're thinking something wrong. Oh, is that how they worded it, Juanita? So Juanita says Ezra, quote, needs to heal, according to Forbes. Sounds about right, I guess. Yes. 2022 Ezra Miller, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. Okay, so he was, so they just kept him on, but. So, yeah, and I, I believe the choke slam happened like in 2020. So by 2022, yeah, the movie was already filmed and stuff, I think. It's pretty weird, Maybe though, because they were locked down. See, you guys are how... so good at this. They got, the, the chat knows. I don't know movies. I don't know anything. Juanita. And then, hey, Mr. Minutes, I missed you coming in, but hello. And then, hey, Andre Ware, thank you so much. And then Emily saying, were there any raids in the Ezra compound? Isn't it crazy when you want to use the word compound? How was it a farm? <laughs> I don't know, but when you say when there's like a minor, someone was she like 17, 16? It was a minor by that state's law, right? I remember her name was Iron Eyes. Yeah. And it was an issue of like, well, did her parents give permission or not? But then the parents were like, we want our daughter back. <laughs> so. Iron Eyes born... 2003 or 2004 i don't i have to do the math well that'd be about depending on the month it'd be about 20 years now but that was already 2020 that that was coming out yeah. i think the age was 17 i could be wrong oh my god there's a whole wikipedia on it on the actual case you can share the screen if you want <laughs> we can go through. Already on we're it. going backwards relationship with so this is the picture up there dakota iron eyes um, relationship with Ezra Miller. In June 2022, Iron Eyes' parents filed legal documents asking a judge to issue an order of protection against actor Ezra Miller on her behalf due to Miller allegedly using violence, intimidation. Th wait, wait, hold on. Intimidation and we get pro wrestling. That's funny. <laughs> Do you see that right there? Do you see the... the yeah, pop it popped up. Okay, cool. Threat of violence, fear, paranoia, delusions, and drugs, including marijuana and LSD to hold sway over her. Although Iron Eyes was 18, due to tribal regulations, Iron Eyes' parents were still considered her legal guardian. So I guess that's where, that's the murky territory there then. Yeah. It still just kind of like, I don't know, it had like cult leader kind of vibes to it. Like he's like drawing people. That's how I looked at it when I heard. I didn't dig into this, guys. But it seemed very much like, give up all everything that you know and be with me instead. Like that's kind of how it was portrayed and how I perceived it as a total outsider not much barbara you missed should i go back to the hair to show barbara the hair <laughs> where's the hair we missed you did one hot take this this girlfriend wants him they've dated for a year and a half she said well i want i think i've outgrown this and i want you to have a more traditional hairstyle so we went through some of how he clearly needs to get a different girlfriend i don't think anyone disagreed with that we're all on the same and now we're on freckles. Yeah, yeah. That's okay, how, what's the science here? This looks like too many paragraphs, to be honest. We need one of those too long didn't reads. But apparently, this girl, or maybe yeah, I twenty six female, has been dating her boyfriend thirty one male. So that's interesting for almost two years. Maybe maybe the freckles make her look too youthful to him or something. But around two months ago, I met my boyfriend's mom for the first time. The three of us went to eat lunch together, and it was a pleasant interaction. The problem started a few days after that. He started asking about my freckles, saying they're probably skin damage, which would be true. Potentially harmful, a sign of old age, and just overall started to see my freckles in a bad way. Uh -huh. At first, I just answered his question and explained that it's genetic and that it's normal. For context, we're both Asian, and in our culture, pale, spotless skin is considered beautiful. And there's also the whole thing like, Asians look young for a very long time. There's like that whole idea of perception. So I am between middle to light skinned and had developed freckles since I was a kid. 
My mom also has them, and she does look somewhat mixed racially. We're getting into weird territory here, boyfriend. Not, none one of my friends have freckles, and I suppose it's not the norm to have it here. What saddens me, guys, I'm going to highlight this. I think this is where we're getting into the issue. That it's not looking, like, super pale. What saddens me is he started mentioning my freckles multiple times, despite seemingly never having a problem with it before. Even goes as far as saying that he will pay for the beauty treatment to remove it. He never wow. really complimented me on my appearance. And he said he had complimented me a total of two times in our two years together. So hearing him only criticize me on something that never bothers me just creates a new insecurity within me. A new insecurity. I actually like my freckles as they're a unique part of me and makes me feel connected to my mom. And, while well, they're still talking about this conversation. And, you know, so, Mom, where did I leave this? And thinking that I would change something I like about myself that people have complimented me on just to make my boyfriend stop criticizing me and possibly won't compliment me on my future freckle-free skin just makes me sad. I understand. She, we need to hook her up with the guy with the hair. <laughs> you know what? They're both going to be signal. I, I hope he likes Asians with freckles. I, I think this really is coming down. Maybe Like, Mom maybe said something about mm. the mixed race look like oh she has like spots on her skin that aren't pure white i understand Maybe. people having preferences and not liking freckles but he literally never mentions it before i'm currently looking at different treatments to minimize my freckles am i over dramatic for being sad or is it just a normal preference thing yeah i hope that all 821 comments are saying you need to love yourself i hope I so too <laughs> the first one is straight off the bat. What the fuck? Don't marry this dude. Seriously, find a partner who tells you. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, two years, never complimented except maybe twice. And then you only say something once your mom and mom meets her. To me, it seems like... And I think the girl, the post, she she recognizes it, right? Yeah. Because she's like... She mentions, well, my mom looks mixed. So but it's like there's like that, a subconscious... No, no. She says it with the complete understanding. Everybody who's reading this is going to know. You don't want to look black. That's a that's a no-no. So he's saying that's why she dropped it and we're supposed to make that connection. Of course. Yeah. And I'm sure the comments will get that. Let's see. Let's go to who... Let's condense one of these parents. So a lot of people, 2,300 2, people agree with what the fuck do not marry this dude. That's not surprising. Isn't there a way to collapse threads on here? There was. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh my god, he's a weird mama's boy. <laughs> uh. Welcome to the future. If you stay, please get out of this relationship. His mother doesn't like something, so he wants to you he wants to pay you for a treatment to fix you, even though you're happy with your appearance. And how so, expensive is that type of thing? It looks like he's got the money. It looks like he's got the money to mold and create a human rather than, you know, find someone you're simpatical with. And and um that thing you did when you collapsed the thread. Like ever since they got rid of that collapse button, the expand collapse thing, and they changed to new Reddit, I didn't know you could do that. And that's crazy. You just gotta click on the line and it'll go away. I think it was only accidental because you saw how it like blinks when I do that. I like I was like, Oh, you can't do it anymore. And I was moving my mouse a lot and uh -huh. found it on accident. <laughs> but it's important because I don't need to read six hundred and twelve people trying to karma farm off this top comment, you know. I just want to go to the next main thing. Can he remove his mom? <laughs> uh Keep your freckles, drop the boy. Yeah, man, someone yep. tag this chick in the other post. Well, let me see. So, Barbara, I've missed you coming in, but thank you. Hello. And then, hello, Frodo's Dojo. So, I was joking with Frodo's Dojo all this between Nathan Wade and that Trump Rico case. Everyone's saying that they can do stuff in their head. Everything's in their head. They can do it with their mind. And I'm waiting for the day where I can, like, do the dishes in my head with my mind. So shout out to Frodo Jojo, Frodo's Dojo, and then yeah, I don't I'd like be petty and offer the money to fix his brain. <laughs> 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 I think that would cost a lot more and probably be very risky, but go for it, right? You know, people change. Risks worth it, yeah. <laughs> what what, what, what kind of comment from the Dark Pixie when it says, "Um, if you like the freckles, you keep the freckles." I'm like, no, uh, if you don't like the freckles, like the freckles. That's the answer. Like who you are. Yeah, yeah, no, I think they're saying, oh, yeah, like, even if you don't like it, keep them anyway. Like, why would you? 
I don't yeah. know. There's, there's like risk. Like if you try to get that skin alteration on those spots, you have to kind of do it perfectly, right? Because if you miss something, you're going to have like an outline left over or like discoloration that doesn't look like a freckle anymore, but it's not purely smooth white pale skin either. So you're going to be Remember? somewhere in between that's neither. Lisa Turtle from Saved by the Bell, her face isn't what it is anymore because she did some stuff to her face trying to get it perfect and live up to a standard. That's a problem in cosmetic surgery. That is the risk is way, the reward is not worth this risk. I heard about the most fatal surgery ever is the BBL. Oh, it no. Is... Right. You see it? Oh, no. I didn't but know like, who, yeah, until I, until I saw, I was like, oh, and I, that would not, you would not convince me that was the same person. Remember that picture on the right is her with a lot of makeup trying to minimize the damage, but you can avoid it. She was so cute. That sucks, because then, like, you obviously, like, do that to do something for your mental. And then it backfires. Like, it's got to go completely in the other direction. The thing is, she wanted to remain what she looked like so she could get more roles, so she could be more remembered. That's what they think of you as. And so you're trying to live up to that standard as opposed to being like, I am going to grow these grays. I'm going to do everything and live who I am and appreciate who I am every day because it's a celebration. You're, you're having a birthday celebration right now. Are you upset because of the number you just reached or are you happy that you've been alive for this long? Like, you got to be more positive when it comes to our appearances. Yeah, I agree. And I think I think hopefully we get to that point, especially, you know, makeup can kind of work a lot of wonders. Everyone's getting better at makeup. I mean, you can, what's the whole thing going on with um, like Drake and all that drama, how they're like talking to the same Instagram model or something. But the comments are all like that Instagram model looks like every single other Instagram model because they all do their makeup the same way. Right. There's a familiarity to it. It's the same aesthetic. But like your makeup's doing that, right? You can I mean maybe they're getting lip fillers, but most of them aren't doing much more than injections. They're not breaking their nose down to shave their nose and, and whatever else. They're doing makeup. So hopefully that stops a lot of people from doing these surgeries that dramatically change the face forever. And other parts of the body, there's other complications too. Like who the was he originally on like Wild and Out? He was a comedian and his 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 uh Jackie O. She died, uh -huh. didn't she? Die from a, a BBL. Yeah, like one of those mommy makeover type things. Didn't she die from complications from that? Oh no, I remember that reading uh, articles about the BBLs, but never specifically about her. BBLs are so dangerous because you can barely afford it. Then you have to go on the plane ride home, coming back home, and you're not supposed to hop on a plane yet. But you also can't afford being away from work because your vacation pay isn't isn't you know and, the and wrong that's jackie o oh. <laughs> this is the wrong jackie o guys no you got the wrong one yes yeah jackie o rapper that's not the same how many jackie o's are using jackie o as the name a stage name who was, who was what's her her the her what was his name i don't watch mtv when I see it, I'll know it. But let me, before I'm confusing people and saying that the person I'm talking about died of non Hodgkin lymphoma, when this is clearly about the Jackie O, the original Jackie Kennedy O. <sighs> let me get that off my screen. But yeah, all that stuff's crazy. It's not worth it. This one's really long. That's not worth it. Let's see. Oh, this could be good. X is reaching out to current boyfriend. Advice needed. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking of that parody. Should we watch the the actor who got chased for Miles parody? Uh huh. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let me pull it up. That was nine ten productions or something. Yeah, nine dash ten or forward slash. Nine, but I'll answer this. The purpose of my ex reaching out to my current boyfriend. I can understand you want to get some feedback. Hey, I'm about to marry this woman. Is there something that I haven't been exposed to? Wait, why did you guys break up? Just let me know. I need some. This is a lifelong decision that I'm about to commit to. If there's like a, is there an uncle? That you're already having about? a hesitation and you want to know if you're. I want to make an informed decision. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And DC Young Fly, that's the Jackie O that I'm thinking of. Let me see. Thank you, Nathan Moore, for that. The director of the Coretta Alvin. Scott King. Do you know who that is? Martin Luther King's wife, Michelle Obama. His outfit, the hat. <laughs> the red hat. <laughs> Barack Obama's wife. You think your person reminds me of Be clear, Petra. Woman? And I didn't see this. You see this little bump and grind going on in the background with the person playing Faith, who is, you know, <laughs> not going to say who that's supposed to be. But those little bump and grind back here. <laughs> I'm going step up for a minute. Nice. You're such a sweetheart. You're a godson. I'm ready to go. This part I got to freeze on. <laughs> like, you've done this before. Do we know the, the celebrities that this guy is uh, capitalizing off of? Because the director, Alvin Gray, is a piranha. Well, okay, so Carly Russell's the first one. Tori and Meg are the second one. Who's the wife that didn't know she was married? Because I thought it was a Jada Pinkett joke. It has to be. But I don't think it is. <laughs> so, I think Barbara said she started to watch it. Barbara. I, okay, so Barbara says, make sure you watch the clocks. The, so the socks the socks are perfection they really are this is great wardrobe choices for this but i think barbara if you started to watch the wife that didn't know who she was who she married oh who she married i thought it said she didn't know she was married that's why i thought it was about jada pinkett smith <laughs> okay i see what you mean yeah and then I watched the beginning of it. It was not a parody. Okay, so we're going to ignore that one then. We'll stick with the um, Nathan Miners and Faith story. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, Faith, just give me one. No. Faith. Unlock the phone. I'm calling her. What? So no. she says, unlock the phone. I'm calling her. <laughs> <laughs> of course, she probably did say that too. She was it's like, so, "It's probably so true." Mm -hmm. Faith, Faith, and Nathan Miners, guys. This is who we're talking about. Oh, give me the phone. No, Faith. Give no, me, no, no. Give me the phone. Yeah. Give me the fucking yeah. phone. No, let go. The socks. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. They're breaking up the teenagers. Face. I didn't catch that oh, until I watched it again. That's, that's the fight he broke up. Doesn't fix it, or whatever. What if TMZ already got the footage of me oh, running from God. the white girl? Did I go the wrong way? Yeah, here. I'm this sorry. This part. That's the teenage fight that he broke up. Yeah, and he's <laughs> he got, got the hat on, on too. Yeah. <laughs> and we got the kids with the. Why is that part of the movie? That has nothing to do with the plot of the movie. That is a totally outside event that just so happened to take place in between March 25 and the trial. Why the hell is that part of this movie? What? When does the movie take place? What is going on here? Uh, no, it's not real. Well, I mean, it might be. <laughs> so, Caliber, this might be the real story of Nathan Miners and Faith, whatever Faith's last name is, <laughs> or Faithy. We're going with Faithy. <laughs> Yeah, oh wait so there is a green sweatshirt in another scene hold on what scene how far back because they gave her the heels and the pants in the little running scene so she's got they didn't mm -hmm. give her those bell bottom leather pants but it looks like they tried to get her outfit right they had her like with her broken finger <laughs> tying her hair up what broken his finger? outfit looks like his yeah he even walked the same <laughs> way <laughs> okay, where she was in the closet. <laughs> Horror. Oh, wait, okay, wait. So. When she was flat? The scrub is so bad. I think I gotta, like. Did I go back not far enough? Where is this part where she has no shirt on? There. Oh, maybe this looked like a pile of hoodie, but I think it's a curtain. But yeah, they, they let her be covered on the bottom with a blanket, like, as if... Because, you know, he ran up the stairs with the blanket, and he's clearly standing here in this frame. So they cover... It looks like they're talking about how he covered her bottom half. 
green shirt keep going. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't fix it, so fast. What if TMZ already got the footage of it? Did it just Me go running from a white girl. That's so detailed if they put that detail in. The detail that I love is the little polka dot shirt that uh, that interviewer is wearing. Do you remember what he was wearing during? Dur Let's share my screen. Look, look at the um, Lindsay Davis outfit with the polka uh, dots, the white polka dots, while she was interviewing the dude. Exclusive actor. That is exactly what you're gonna see in the trailer. Now pull up the trailer. You're gonna see that same shirt because he was on it. You know when he was making this movie. I mean, Barbara, I think I'm like at. Let's just do this little part again. This there's a sweatshirt. Oh, is it a green sweatshirt or is it like denim? It's definitely a sweatshirt. Yeah. They like flipped her over and put her in the shirt. She's like moving, but she's supposed to still be unconscious. <laughs> I like how this closet is like not a penthouse closet. This is like the only thing that they didn't put the production value into matching. Close <laughs> they don't have his boot collection. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't fix it, Faith. What if TMZ already got the footage of it? Oh, Me it is the polka dots. Oh, they got girl. so much in here. All through the city. It's Me hard to rewind if TMZ this. already got the footage. Yeah, you're pretty bad at rewinding, but you got it. You see, she's got the straightened hair. There he is wearing the black, just like and with the jeans. He was wearing the same kind of outfit. It's... It's, you know, it's, it's apples to apples, actually. You know, it would be so funny if they I'll showed, like, up. someone whatever Megan's parody name would be, or I guess they were still using Cleopatra at the beginning of this. Uh -huh. But if they like showed Megan watching from the side. Me running from the white girl all through the city. <laughs> I'm interested and I'm also disappointed in him. But I also look, he's not painting. He's not doing what some of the publications which we've been covering have been doing. He's not kind of like making Jonathan Majors out to be some sort of abuser. They're recognizing just how innocent he was and just the drama is how psycho she was. Psycho girl, quote unquote. That's why I love the little suspense where they say, well, what if TMZ gets the footage of me being chased down the street? Because they lead you to believe he's about to say of me doing something bad. But then the worst thing, the TMZ thing, the, the big juicy thing TMZ would get is just me being chased by you. <laughs> so, and that's really the summation of it, right? That video went out on that Wednesday when the judge finally released everything. And you saw people be like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> to the point where, if you guys, the reason I went on AV to the 7th Power stream was because she did a live stream on it. I happened to be in the chat. She started, she's like, we're going to look at the stuff, guys. There's apparently video of him chasing her down the street. Uh. And at first, everyone, at first, everyone's like, we thought she misspoke, right? Because you can just switch whatever. And she said it again. And suddenly the chat's like, no, 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 no. And she's like, wait, what? She's like, oh, my God, hold on. We have to pull this up. And then as soon as she saw, uh -huh. she realized in real time that the whole story was painted for him to look like the bad guy that you would believe this evidence would obviously look bad for him. He must be the one doing the chasing, right? Yeah. No, she like realized it in real time that it was him being chased by the person he's, you know, on trial for assaulting. Faith. Yeah, yeah, Faith. Nathan Miners and Faith. <laughs> yeah, that's that's hilarious. Nathan Miners, that's hilarious. <laughs> and yeah, Barbara's right. The ducking in the doorway kills me. So I didn't realize when, when Barbara first said, like, oh, I love when he ducks in the doorway. I was like, what? But it's when she, she, he, go, he goes in the cut to... Mm -hmm. lose her because that was a big issue all the people that tried to support faith well he's still guilty after this whole chase thing because he why would he walk past her again like there's some people out there holding on that can't get it through their head why nathan miners might be going back to the car that was hired that would be either getting him home that things may have been left behind in people still tried to twist that chase video and say Nathan Miners is such a bad person because he was walking by trying to provoke his victim faith. Like, <laughs> where do you find these people from, man? Oh, on on X on Twitter, in very in a very increasingly small corner of the internet. No, wait, yeah. because she was looking for his Escalade that he that he could forget because it was on his tab. Right. 
Those people will never change their mind. Yeah, there's there's very few of them left, though. There's very, very few of them left. And then I just saw your chat. I can't hear anything, any background noise chill on my end. I so the reason I put stuff like that in, in the private chat is because... I don't want it to be said during the live stream, but it's cool, Cat. I, I'm going to step out for like three minutes. I tell you why, but then you'd read it out in the chat. Okay. I'll be back, I'll be back in like three <laughs> well, minutes. If you want me to spill any secrets, put it in there. Yeah, right. Okay, so I think we got some good advice there on... There's a lot of relationship hot takes in here. Let's see. Let's go to Am I the Asshole? Because I really like those. Those are a lot of like... You know, family member fights. Like, someone did something wrong at the wedding. There's an, a Sims, am I the asshole? Did I see that right? We might have to go visit that, guys. <laughs> am I the asshole for telling my sister? I'm not the golden child. I just wasn't a pain in the ass. Oh, this is great. The first sentence says, my sister's a goddamn mess. She was a lot growing up, and each week, some issue would appear. The... The could be as simple, that could be as simple as a tantrum or my mom or dad getting a call from the school. I'm short. I'm short she was a lot. Okay, this writing is confusing, but we're going to get through it. I'm short she was a lot, not to mention therapy, for her basically drained the family dry. I was giving more freedom since my parents trusted me. I was given more freedom since my parents trusted me. I could go to mall by myself, and they knew they wouldn't get a call from security about stealing. That happened before. So, apparently sister shoplift so they trusted me and gave me more freedom to do stuff i have literally watched her get a chance to prove our parents can trust her and then fuck it up our relationship isn't good my dad gave me his old car for my last year of college i need it for an internship my sister made a comment that of course the golden child gets a car i snapped and told her i'm not the golden child i just wasn't a pain in the ass that the family has drained themselves dry for her multiple times and to keep her mouth shut she called me a jerk and ran to her room This sounds like an accountability problem to me, but you know. Let's see. You think the golden child would be smart enough to just use the loom? <laughs> you guys are coming up online. You guys came up with a bunch of. Let's go back to the Faith and Nathan Miners. So Ghost says, Faith no more, ashes to ashes. I saw a bunch of names. Why do we have more of those Faith? Did they get to the bell bottoms too? Hold on. I know I saw you guys saying more. So Faith No More. <laughs> I mean, maybe we should adopt that name, right? Instead of saying Grace. Imagine we make her start Googling Faith to find content about her. Instead of just being able to Google Grace and finding one of these videos to complain about. A concerted social media campaign orchestrated by Jonathan Majors against her. <laughs> Thanks, Aisha. I'm so glad you're joining. If you just got here, you just missed us watching the trailer <laughs> the trailer for the actor who got chased around the city <laughs> so definitely check that out if you haven't seen it it's pretty great and i wouldn't recommend it guys if i thought it was like obtuse or unfair or not funny i think as, as something comedic they did a great job taking the details of the case getting a lot of details not just pulling out they start with the great man recording right but they go beyond that they didn't just focus on that one thing that everybody else seems to have hitched their boat to but yeah it's so good let me link to it in here let me link to it over here yeah so we're updating the names now <laughs> we're gonna go with faithy well, I think we had, well, that's so funny, too, because Chill used to use Stephanie McMahon, but then the whole Vince McMahon suit comes out, and it's like, <laughs> let's see. I don't know what the comments are going to say here. Maybe they'll agree with us. I don't, I don't get why she doesn't understand that her actions greatly affect how she was treated. I don't know. What do you guys think about parenting, where a parent says, and I'm not a parent myself, but a parent, and I think parents fight over this, right? Like one parent might say one thing and another parent might say the other, and there could be disagreements here. But there's a certain parenting style and chills back. Hey. Let's see if he puts anything in the private chat I can read to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
was gonna say, chill. Do you are you familiar with like the idea that some parents think that no matter what, every child needs it has to be like a one to one type of thing. Whatever we do for one child absolutely has to be the exact same for the other child. Unless the child has special needs. I actually agree with that. If you're doing something for one child, because on his sixth birthday that you did this, well, little boy is going to be six in a couple of months, and he he remembers what happened with his brother's sixth birthday, so he's expecting the same treatment. Yeah, like I want I want the the giant pizza Chuck E. Cheese party. You know, because my brother had the Chuck E. Cheese party. Yeah. Do they still yeah. have that thing at Chuck E. Cheese where you can go on the thing and they like blow the tickets around? I haven't been with the animatronics. Do kids still do that after? What was that Nicolas Cage movie with Willy's Wonderland? <laughs> yeah. Um. Honestly, the Chucky. E. Do Jesus I know a movie thing? that you don't? Yeah, you do. See, you're lying. I don't know this movie. No. You don't know Willy's Nicolas... Wonderland. It's just Nick Cage just downing energy drinks to stay awake in a haunted, abandoned Chuck E. Cheese esque place to fight off uh animatronics that come to life. <laughs> Nah, never heard of this Willy's Wonderland. I hope I did a good summary of what it's about. So it's a 2021 film that went to Apple TV. Yeah, I know nothing about Apple TV's movies. <laughs> I guess that's why they have I, a bad reputation. I really like animatronics over things that are like CGI. Even though I think there's CGI in that a little bit. It's not all prop. Um, but I just feel like, you know, like Killer Clowns from Out of Space. I can actually imagine... Like short people in clown costumes doing creepy things with cotton candy. If when it's CGI, it doesn't scare me because my brain's like, well, that's like r really not happening. So yeah. I like things with animatronics and. Now, some things though, they need to be more. So I'm looking at comic book shit, right? When you adapt Thanos, there's no physical, you know, it needs to be CGI is what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, because you have, well, you have all that like atmospheric stuff going on around when he's doing something too, right? There's like auras and you know? you're like, that's not going to be an animatronic. It's not just going to be a thing that can move a, a limb once in a while. You know what pissed me off? Because Master Yoda back in those old movies was puppeted. Then they did CGI and then they made new movies and they made Master Yoda a puppet one more time. And I'm going, what? That's so stupid. They we already backwards. know what he's supposed to look like. So I can't go backwards. <laughs> right? Master Yoda, few, right? I've only seen a few. I've only seen old original puppet Master Yoda. It's cool. It's cool. I don't think I've seen the new rendition. Good. Save your eyes. Okay. I'm glad because usually you're like, go watch this. And I have to add something new that I'm never going to actually watch. Although I did watch Creed 3. I did. And I have yeah. to do a stream with you on that. I know, and I, I keep like delaying that. I know how much times I've told you. We I'm gonna do have it. to rewatch some of it just to. Uh. My friend just did um, Tess Powers. Is it Tessa Powers or Tess? Oh. The actress. My friend just did her makeup. The chick that plays uh, Michael B. Jordan's wife. Tessa and Thompson. Creed. Tessa Thompson. Yeah, my friend just did her makeup, so that was cool. Awesome. I don't know. <laughs> Stupid. That's cool, but but like. Never mind. Never mind. You want to put it in the private chat? I was going to make a connection between meeting actors on set when you're part of the crew. That's the connection I was going to make. The one with Faith and Jonathan. Faith and you Nathan. You mean Nathan Miners. Nathan Miners. <laughs> you know what's so great about that is Nathan is just chopped the, jo the Joe off the beginning of Jonathan. That's so... I would never think of that. The Miners, you could. That's pretty easy to think of, right? Opposite yeah. of majors. But then the Nathan, I was like, oh, wait. Yeah, that's, that's what's so clever about it. I just hate the movie and the concept of what he's doing <laughs> and how he's trying to make a name for himself. And I watched his interview on She Dreads Me, uh, which he did like a couple days ago. I just hate that he is the way that he is. I have to go watch her video. She said she pulls up and people mention her on channels. We go, we can make her. We can summon her. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Can we sort this by top of all time? You want to read like the most am i the asshole post of all time am i the asshole for telling my wife to lock on my daughter's door does not get removed till my brother-in-law and his daughters are out of our house safety let's huh? see we don't trust the other relatives so my my brother-in-law sammy lost his home i always love thinking of the fictional names people choose like we're just gonna call him sammy that's the name i'm thinking of 
lost his home shortly after his divorce 10 months ago. See, I'm he so trusting. I thought his name really was Sammy, but you're going, this was a fake name. And yeah, probably. I mean, it could be real, but usually I think that the standard is that we just, this is who I'm going to call. I'm going to call them for the rest of the story. Because you don't want to like give away. You don't want to be the asshole because you gave real names. So is you want to win this battle when you're commonly you uh is there commonly used fake names like you know Jane Doe, John Doe. So do they go? Oh, this person is a real Sammy, you know? Or we already know what what story we're in for well, because brother in law. So Sammy. there's subjectivity. So that's why I think it's interesting because certain people you can like you can kind of try to read into them, read some tea leaves based on the names they're choosing for people, right? Uh huh. I'm not gonna lie, guys. A long time ago. I got the first Twilight book. This is before the movies were made. I got the first Twilight book as a gift. And I read the back of it. And it said the names were Edward and Bella. And I'm like, this sounds like shit. <laughs> so <laughs> I went and returned it just because of the names. And wow. I've, I've never read it or watched the movies, but I know it's done really well. But I judged it not by the cover, but by the fictional names chosen for the two lead characters. I was like, this doesn't seem like my type of book. Edward and Bella, I'm, I'm over it. So I brought it back. And this is at a Borders bookstore. It was in a mall. Because they used to have bookstores and malls. And my, my malls don't anymore. But so those Borders bookstore, I'm returning it. And this girl, she had an accent. It was kind of like Grace Jabari-esque. She's like, oh my gosh, I love this book so much. And I'm like, yeah. And I pretended to have like read it. And it was just a second copy that someone gifted me. And I was like, yeah, it was really great. Because I didn't want to insult this person's favorite book. <laughs> so it was the worst experience of my life. I got this book for Christmas judged it on the name Edward and Bella and then had to pretend to not think the book was awful from the cover to this girl who apparently really liked it. Uh -huh. But yeah, sorry if you're Twilight fans in there, but I promise I haven't seen it. I'm not actually judging the storyline. <laughs> you never seen Taylor Lautner turn into a wolf? Kind of picture it, I guess. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen like Taylor and Taylor Taylor mm -hmm. Swift and Taylor Lautner hanging out with Taylor's new Taylor Lautner's fiance or wife. Interesting. And they apparently all used to date and now they're like meme friends. All right. So maybe that's just the thing. Like maybe isn't that weird? Would would you be able to date? You don't really No, but here's here's the thing though. I'm not a celebrity and I understand the celebrity life, especially as Taylor Swift has been in the celebrity limelight for all those years she never had a normal interaction nor she doesn't have as many normal interactions as you and i have had and like there's really not much fault to fall back on there's not much true friends that you really have so an ex like taylor lautner yeah. yeah why not that's also like understanding what it's like to be in the spotlight and yeah i just think it's weird you know i, I wouldn't be in a situation where i could i don't think where i could find mm -hmm. a guy named cat <laughs> And I'd be dating a cat. Oh, Cat Williams. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that's the stage name, though. Is his real name Cat? No, there's no way. Cat. I know there's a lot of wrestlers. All right, guess his name. Don't tell us it if you really know it. Hold on. I'm looking it up. It says his real name is <laughs> Micah Cat Williams. Okay, so is there a middle name that, that the cat derives from? No, Cat is in quotation. So then there's no way that. It's just a complete nickname. No. Mm -hmm. My, How did he get Cat his Williams. name? He, he blew up this year and he was already like a known kind of comedian. Everyone liked him. But the way that he just kind of just got, got on gold, like the gold medalist comedian of the year already is crazy. Well, a lot of that was that the just the success of that podcast interview. And like shout out to that. Right. Because I kind of think that's cool to see really any type of. You know, like the podcast independent people can choose what they want and like. You're not just leaving the TV running. I guess there's autoplay on YouTube, but that viewership is usually like a con like a conscious choice to watch. Autoplay, you kind of figure it out and and get out of there if you don't want to watch something after like two three minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, but what that was within its first week didn't it have like fifty million. What's, what's it think, at now? I think it was a lot. Million. Now with, with with his podcast, Joe Rogan, they try to like re hurt they meaning the guys who are part of traditional media try to hurt these guys but it never works out the, the rock still showed up on rogan so did the guy who owns facebook everyone goes to rogan same with uh Sh shannon sharp now 
Yeah, and if you want to watch something like that, you're going to find what platform streaming it, right? You'll just Google it. Or you'll see someone share a link to it somewhere else if you followed someone for a shared audience. Like, like I see so much, like, Jonathan Majors related content because of meeting everybody and becoming friends with everybody. And they're sharing a link to something like, now I know what his, his puppy did today, which I wouldn't have known something like that two, three months ago. Because I wouldn't have been following the someone that would have the, the training. Well, I don't know what the facility is that they bring the dog to, but wherever the puppy's being trained, like you guys are finding that and like sharing yeah. it and I have exposure to it. So if something were to happen where, you know, I don't even have a news source that I go to anymore. Insider's not really covering the case, but no. say Insider shuts down. I would still find the next place that was covering it because you guys would find it. Someone out there would find it and share it. So. And make a compilation about all the times these these like influential people with platforms are using it to speak nicely on Jonathan. It's cool. It's really cool. Uh, we need more of that. <laughs> I, I got to do another look. I can I can do just pure a YouTuber's compilation of everyone who, and then it's not just the ones like the five or six people we've interacted with. There's other people, and I could just put them on. It just it won't hit the same because it's it's gonna be like who who's that who's that? No, do oh. it. Do it. Do it. All right. Yeah. Come, come into it. Back into it. Chill. Yeah. I'll do it tonight. God willing. Is there, what is this going on with with Sammy? We stopped because of Sammy being the name. <laughs> Sammy lost his home after his divorce 10 months ago. He moved in with us and brought his twin daughters, Olivia and Sloan, 18. So they're twins, so they're both 18. Uh -huh. <laughs> My brain was like, why is her name Sloan, 18? <laughs> <laughs> She's an android. Yeah. <laughs> with him a couple months ago. His sister, my wife, and I have one daughter, Zoe, who's 16. I had a dog named Zoe, so I can't look at that as a human name anymore. And she and her cousins aren't... We adopted her. She was a little rescue dog, and I didn't know what a rescue dog meant. So I was like, how was she rescuing anybody because she was little? Uh... <laughs> I was really... I was like... I was young and stupid. I didn't understand how the world worked yet. No, that's but not I just stupid. Was like, if you didn't know otherwise, yeah, a rescue dog, you would assume, rescues people. I was like, how is this little... What was she rescuing? <laughs> but that's how that went. She was like a fox terrier, some mix. Um, but yeah, so Zoe 16 in my head, until further notice, is a tiny dog. Um, but she and her cousins aren't close, but they get along fine. Olivia and Sloan, Android 18, have no respect for Zoe's privacy. None. They used to walk into her room and take everything they could get their hands on. Makeup, phonics, which is gross. Because if you're going to use someone's makeup, you can get a sty. It's like not hygienic. That's like really gross. Phone accessories, clothes, school laptop, etc. Zoe right, complained a lot. That's huh? the reason yeah. for the lock. Yeah. Period. Well, I don't we, need we've to got read the, the answer. Left. We don't need any more. That <laughs> We're is why here. You the lock. We're already here at the not the asshole rating. Uh -huh. <sighs> yeah, and it goes in. That's crazy. I agree. And I also think, you know, 18 versus 16. At 18, you can probably start doing there's a if your daughter is 14 and the friend is 16, that 16-year-old's starting to drive for the first time. There's things that 16-year-old may be able to do that they might invite your 14-year-old along to do. And now that the 16-year-old's driving, you got to worry about your daughter. Do I want my daughter in a car with someone who's a new driver? When you're 16 and then you are you could be hanging around people that are 18, depending on where you are, I don't know if this is the United States, but it's legal in some places of the world. Those 18-year-olds could come home with beers, you know? There's, there's other concerns. It, it's literally just... from the user only in Quebec. So I don't think that it's in the United oh. States. Oh, <laughs> well, what's what's the age there? 21 or, or 18? No, no, it's younger than 21. I thought it was 18. Yeah, so that's it. All right. So there's even, there would be an issue, I think, a concern, a parenting concern. There's an adjustment with two new kind of close in age, mm -hmm. but distinct differences. But then on top of it, those 18-year-olds are coming in and there's two of them. And they're saying, we're going to take your $60 Mac makeup kit. We're going to take your laptop that you need for school. Yeah. And you don't want to be friends with that. Those type of stealing things type people. You don't want to be in the same car. Because as soon as one time a police officer pulls you over. I, How many friends do you and I have? I don't even know you like that cat. How many friends do we know? Been in the wrong place at the wrong time in the car when something happened. And now they're, they've got a record. Like, you don't need My that. friend Nathan. <laughs> no, I, I actually thought you were talking about a real Nathan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My good friend Nathan. 
Guys, if you ever need style advice, <laughs> let me tell you about my friend Nathan Miners. <laughs> okay. Next one on this uh, all-time most am I the asshole posts is. Hey, what is what? What is this tag? Supreme Court just ass? <laughs> what? Hold on, wait. Is this like an actual am I the asshole or is it complaint? It's meta, so it's just complaining mm-hmm. about the sub. We can skip that one. Oh, that's rough. Am I the asshole for despising my mentally handicapped sister? I don't know if I can bring the vibe down by reading that one, guys. I don't want to read it. Uh-huh. Oh, let's read this one. That's crazy. And there's an update. Am I the asshole for wanting to go to the funeral of a girl that I helped get addicted to drugs? How do we get the original post? Yeah. Short answer is no, because you're mourning a death. Because funerals are for the people that attend. Yeah. We say they're for the person who passed away, but they're really for the people in attendance. Every (sighs) single drug overdose has a person in the funeral who was like there with that person while they were doing drugs. You know, there was people who partied with him or her. That's got to be roughly. You're probably in there trying to mourn, but then you feel guilty at the same time. Because here there's context here. They said he was the asshole or she was the asshole. I'm 26 and clean from heroin for three years. I was also a piece of shit and used to deal for a while. So they're going to put that. You know, there's like the distinction, right? People will automatically put that moral line, the line in the sand. If, you know, someone's saying they used to deal, it could just mean I provided it to us when we were together. And I was the one that went and, and got it might not be like the big top level dealer here but Mm -hmm. as soon as you hear that it gives moral licensing to people i think you could say oh you're the bad person because you have the d word as your title okay i don't think necessarily like that i actually think everyone's guilty everyone's a you know a, a guilty party i think that if someone needs money and they return to that you know form of of that occupation if that's what they do for a living as bad as it is they wouldn't have that if there wasn't an audience or if there wasn't a customer base. So everyone's yeah, equal. supply demand. Supply demand. And I hate that the dealers happen to be of a certain hue and happen to make up most of the, the jail population. Well, especially at a certain level too, right? The dealers that are also users, right? They're the ones that are they're they're doing it to pay for their own habit and using their own product. Yeah. They're like a victim of their own. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a white guy. If he was doing it also and like, using it and selling it, I don't know. I think that leans Caucasian. Well, let's see, because I might be jumping ahead. I was also a piece of shit and used to deal. But he says he's also been clean. So he used to use, but we don't know if he used with this girl. He could have just been dealing with her. So I managed to get with a beautiful girl named Marcy. Is this a fake name? Is this like Marcy's Playground, that song? <laughs> Keep reading. But that's a band, right? Yeah, okay. When I first started getting into the thick of things, she knew who I was, but she said she loved me. I will regret this for the rest of my life. But I was a person who shot up Marcy for the first time. Mm. After that, there was no stopping her. Yeah. She stuck around with me, probably because I was her dealer more than anything. But then I got clean and never saw her again for a long time. A year ago, she reached out to me on Facebook and told me she'd been clean for a few months. And she said that she didn't hate me for what happened, and she hoped I was still clean. Last cool. week, I got a call from my sister, who told me that what she saw on Facebook that Marcy OD'd, and there was <sighs> a funeral service this upcoming Thursday. I hope that's true, that after being clean, she reached out to you on Facebook. You guys had that clarity, that I forgive you moment. I hope that's true, and he's not just saying that. Yeah, that could be. But, you know, sometimes things, like, happen like that, and you wonder if it was coincidence, right? But, it, like, you know, this happened right before... Not not this type of scenario, but people have those right before they die. They said this to me, and it's like, I didn't know that this was coming, but it's really cathartic to realize that they were able to say this to me, or I was able to say this to them before things happened. So, and to Barbara, whatever NWA reference you think I made, I didn't make a NWA reference. Whatever I said that aligned with that musical group was just me thinking originally. Yeah, I wouldn't know the reference anyway. I said something about white people overdose (laughs) on their, they're the dealer and usually the user is what I said. I think that's what she means. But but, but look, yeah. Maybe. Look, look, look. Yeah, this this post is rated that they're the asshole. 
No, nah, because because of the thing where he says I shot her up for the first time. That does sound terrible. I know. Yeah. But what's interesting, I do think at that point you you have the this person was not addicted to that particular thing at this point in time if you're the first one to do it. And this is this is them telling the story, right? This is this poster yeah. saying this. They're the ones giving us this information that they're the one that did this thing, right? You know, that's not a favorable, it's not a self-serving thing to say. But they're being forthcoming about it. Um, so it's probably true. Unless she said this is my first time and it wasn't, right? Um, but that makes a difference, right? Because if they came to you and you, one could read from this, maybe it was encouraged and pushed and there's peer right. pressure going on, mm -hmm. but it could also be a side of like, I'm all, we're already doing this other things. What are you doing? What's that? I've never done that before. Whether that's true or not. I want to do that. I want to do that. Please. No, 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 no. I don't want you to, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't start. I'm they so don't give much context there. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole gateway drugs, the whole, like, remember the story prior you were talking about a 16-year-old being with an 18-year-old? And, like, these these are, like, the opening the opening doors. These are, like, the easiest step one into a life that just goes downhill where you will require rehab yeah. and you will be in, in this, like, in, in a rut. And it's so easy to step on these traps and minefields. They, they meaning the youth, need their time occupied doing things that are productive school uh, maybe needs to be extended we really might need to think about making school two hours longer making gym mandatory so that they get all their energy out and and i don't know just keep away from these negative things some of that like like anger and aggression right if someone was able to run around a little bit longer i think especially also at the end of the towards the end of the day oh my god we went so bananas uh one year i had gym class i think it was my last period of the day uh -huh. Which is great because you can get all stank and you can go home, right? You don't have to be be up in school. We didn't use what a showers or anything to, in our school. What a woman thing to say, though. Yeah, you know, so it's the last period of the day. That's when you can smell. You know, I did not give a shit. I remember having a gym in the first period, and never that that thought never came up in my mind. What will I smell like? Well, I hate it because because my hair is like Shirley Temple curly. So if I sweat a little bit, it's gonna like look like I got electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> I had hair. <laughs> it's gonna look like I rubbed a balloon on my head. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, well, it's it's not gonna point. look like the guy we started with <laughs> that yeah. had the nice hair. We can read his update though. I, this comment here, this first one said, "You're not the asshole for wanting to go, but you'd be the asshole if you did go." And I kind of think, you know, maybe you're the asshole for maybe there's some blame or reasonable guilt that you feel like this funeral is happening because of something you did, butterfly effect or not. Um, but I don't know. I don't really. I can separate the two actions and I can say, yes, go to the funeral. It's responsible to mourn someone. They know you know her. Go. And that's kind of like it's kind of like a movie trope, right? You know, they always show that scene to show the guilt and the remorse when someone that whether they had a, a direct or indirect or any precipitatory role at all to play in someone's death. There's always that scene, right? I think cinematographers must love these scenes where they show the person like at the at the grave waiting for everyone else to leave usually, right? The, oh the my lone God. shot. Spider-Man 1 <laughs> after the Green Goblin dies, yeah. And Harry. They always love these scenes. Exactly. But I think and... that's true. Everybody needs a chance. And what happens if you don't let someone mourn, right? This person could start using again. You need that imagery. That is the destination of me when I continue shooting myself up. So three years, let's hear for three more. That's what you need in your life. Yeah, I got to get rid of <laughs> I mean, I don't know if the update, what was the update about? Thank Wants you, to Barbara. sincerely thank everyone. Everyone's comments were appreciated, including those that were less than pleasant. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Since I received such great advice in my original post, I felt like I had an obligation to update, and I'm trying to follow through on all aspects of my life, even internet ones. The funeral service was this past Thursday. Before then, I brought all the advice I received online and brought it to the real world, and I talked to my therapist and sponsor about how I was feeling and what I should do. So great. he has a sponsor, he has a therapist, and at least in this moment, he went to visit with them. May she... I ask, what is a sponsor? Uh, may, like when you're in a program to stop using yeah. substance abuse, that's, what, that's someone that's mentoring you that 
oh, also okay. typically, I, I typically my understanding is a sponsor is someone who else, someone else who came clean and succeeded through a program. And now they're sponsoring and mentoring someone else who's earlier in the stage of trying to get clean or stay clean. All right. It sounded like the person who's paying for my treatment, but okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So think of like alcohol anonymous. You see that a lot in movies where it's like my sponsor and it'll be like someone they meet in the Uh group, but that's been there longer. Who's been on the journey longer, the journey to sobriety longer. So you're sponsoring like almost like a little brother or a little sister, Mm. but in the, in the scope of how long have you been trying to get clean of something? Mm hmm. Um, so my big, my sponsor was straight with me and told me I'd be putting myself in danger by going and that I should do something else that day to grieve. When Thursday rolled around, I was a mess. I seriously considered both just going to the funeral or using again. <sighs> but instead, I grabbed my dog and we went on a road See, dogs are therapeutic. <laughs> I grabbed my dog and we went on a road trip. That dog was probably out that window so happy. And can you imagine if you were upset? And you decided I'm going to go on a drive with my dog and your dog looks happy as hell sticking out that window. Because the air is like whatever dogs like about that. Why is it summer? And you just look over. How about if it's January and they live in Minneapolis? We don't know. I feel like a dog would like that anyway. Yeah. I don't know. Do you ever be you ever see a stranger's dog? You're driving, right? You're on the Uh road. And you see someone another car, you see a dog head sticking out of it. And that dog is having the time of its life. Uh Uh-huh. Unless you think that dog's about to, like, possibly jump out and be reckless, right? Because sometimes it looks like that. Doesn't that, like, get in part a little bit of joy? <laughs> yeah. So if it's, like, a floppy-eared dog. Like. So. So that's a great idea. That's a great compromise. They go to the beach. They hung out, just the two of them. They're probably playing that Will Smith song. I'm doing okay this week, but I'm obviously still not doing great. I haven't reached out to any of Marcy's family, and I don't plan to. I understand how devastating that would be. That's it. Take care, everyone. I think that's Wait. a fair decision. Yeah, yeah. Because if it would upset the family who are definitely going to be there, yeah, don't go. I didn't know that the family would have known even who you were, and they knew that you were Well, I think I haven't reached out, so I'm not going to wish my condolences in any way, I'm assuming. Including going there and being like, hi. Hi, remember me? First first shot was for me. Or, I was the one. We've never met before, but this is who I am. The, okay. It sounds like they've met before just because the last sentence, I understanding now how devastating that would be. It must mean because the family knows he would have known. Oh, and that's the advice he took to heart was, hey, it's we can't tell you the advice in the other thread could have been. We don't know in context all the details, but if people know who you are, it could make things worse, right? You show up and people are like, what are you doing here? Because yeah. people that don't have their gym class, they don't have time to get their grief, their stress, their anger out, could get very angry at a funeral. So, yeah. I think in either case, the decision, even if he was a stranger, nobody would have made the connection that he could have been a user that did anything with her that could have led to her demise in any way. The idea for his own choice or her own choice to just go and do something else. If you're not sure what to do. I got the Facebook message right here. She was not, we, we made peace. It's okay. Uh. Right. Can you imagine there's people that would really do that though? That's, that's the crazy part. I deserve to be here. We were, we were both clean at the same time. Yeah. Make a fuss out of it. Uh. And then, Hey, JT Moore, thank you. And then I was reading Juanita's comment, dogs like the smells and air. That's probably how simple it really is. That's probably the answer. <laughs> they, just, they just want to be out there catching it all in. Yeah. You ever drive through somewhere that smells bad? Hamilton. Like Patterson, New Jersey. Where did you say? <laughs> it's called Brampton? Hamilton, Ontario. Oh, is that your spot? There's a Patterson, New Jersey. It's pretty bad here. It's just like sewage, right? And I think there's is- a lot of like factories. Uh, and something something that's constantly being produced or maybe burned as a byproduct just like smells it lingers in the air that's bad. but luckily it's also supposed to be a place that you're not supposed to stop at a red light because <laughs> they could you know the rumor is they'll come take your your rims off your car or whatever but that means you can get through the city faster just keep driving get up out, uh-huh. <laughs> get out of here it's a win-win sure it's a win-win <laughs> And then Racer X Chill. Wait. Nice Racer X. Oh. 
I loved the dramatic microphone move. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to start selling more Chillmonger merch? I need a hat. I I don't I don't want to get into something where I know only one cause and I thank you cat but I was like I'm not going to do a whole marketing guys buy the merch and you're the only one who ever asked me for merch. I'll wait till I get more popular and then I can do it. I'll hold you to it. Yes. All right you guys, it has been an hour and 9 minutes which is I'm going to pull a chillmonger. An hour is our cutoff time today. I I really enjoyed meeting everyone I've met since I've been doing YouTube content. It's always really fun because this stuff in the chat i can't pull up the little emojis but i see barbara's using all the mario kart emojis <laughs> and i might actually go play that right now chill thanks so much for popping up it's been a little bit since we've hung out um and you guys i don't know the next stream but we've got some stuff coming up probably april 1st right judge what? gaffy oh is that what's going he's gonna have some answers or do we gotta wait until the 8th on the motions the on the motions oh so he's supposed to make a decision on the motion. So we'll see based on what publications have something to publish at 8 a.m. before court would even start. Uh-huh. <laughs> April 1st. You know, we'll, yeah. It's an interesting date, right? Monday, April 1st. Okay. So maybe we'll have something going on then. Until then, guys, you guys all follow Chillmonger. Anyway, let me pull up your channel and drop it. Pull up I my think channel, everyone in here follows it, too. YouTube.com showmonger. I just posted right right when you started yours about Nelson Pelt and the Disney takeover and why these guys think that they can show you who's a morally in uh, unproper board member and they can fight each other over stupid things like race when honestly we got one side who killed the Black Panther, we got another side saying, Why do we have to have an all black movie? Like, I don't think any of you guys are the heroes. Why That's why I that one. But as a totally white person who watched your video on the Good Times remake and finding out that it was not just Seth MacFarlane, but also sponsored by like, or it was produced by Steph Curry. I was like, oh, me as a white person over here. I don't like this either. (laughs) Steph Curry did not grow up that way. Steph Curry played basketball. He was boycotting affordable housing. Why don't, so yes, you get it. See, it's not that hard, everybody. Universal. Everyone understands. So, yeah, but go check that video out. If you are not familiar with the Good Times remake, Chill just did a video on that as well. I don't even think it was a good animation style. I didn't really like much about it. <laughs> yeah. But one, hey, anyway, one you guys, season. we're going to end with a bunch of birthday emojis. Go have some drinks or cake or food and celebrate with me. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a good one.